Alors, pour le dire en français, je suis plutôt un emmerdeur. Hein. J'aime bien euh, emmerder les gens. Parce que quand les gens sont à l'aise dans des fauteuils comme vous l'avez, alors euh, vous vous endormez. But I was going to speak in English, that's right. I forgot about that. Um, I had a pretty long journey to get here today. And uh, I decided to just add a little picture of what I was looking at uh, just uh, two days ago when I was leaving. Um, I have a base in California, but um, three times a year I retire on a self-sufficient farm in Colombia. My wife is Colombian. I'm not a drug dealer. Um, so my wife is Colombian, and I've been working in Colombia for many years, and you'll see some of my projects there. And um, the beauty is when I wake up in the morning, that's my view. I have a view of the three nevados, the three snow-covered volcanoes. And we live off the farm. We have our own water that has been regenerated thanks to the planting of bamboo. Uh, we have uh, our own fruits and veggies. And yes, I am uh, gluten-free and lacto-free uh, dieter, so um, it's much easier if you would like to have something else, then it's a little bit more difficult. We do eat our own chickens, though, uh, that we that we farm. But the only food that the chickens really get are the plantains and the bananas. Um, I think it's very important that we can, part of our busy lives, and particularly if you're living a good, uh, how I would say, about three, four months a year in, in the United States, you have to go and live on a farm again to just get in touch with reality. Because if you live in California, you're not in touch with reality. You're in touch with dreams. Now, that's my dream house. I designed this house. Um, it's completely made out of bamboo and baireke. And it's a fully self-organizing climatological house. Um, I'm not going to go into much of details, but I am uh, um, Strangely enough, uh, I'm a professor in architecture and system design at the Politecnico di Torino. I'm no architect whatsoever. Um, I do designs. Um, and, and what we always try to do is, is really have beauty and comfort at the center, uh, and in this, at the same time, secure that we can integrate the most uh, functional components of what you have locally available. And of course, when you're in Colombia and the coffee region, then it is the guadua angustifolia, it's the bamboo. It's a marvelous material. So I left there two days ago and uh, arrived here this morning. I'm not going through the details uh, what all happened uh, during this trip because then uh, my time would be up uh, by the time I finished telling you the incredible stories that happened. But it's, um, I didn't know traveling in Europe could still be so difficult. Let's start with some very Blunt statements. You know this, um, if you give a man a fish, he will not be hungry for the day. If you teach him how to fish. <laughs> this is the problem. This is the core of the problem that we think the wisdom of the past is going to take us to the future. Forget it. It's not going to work. The wisdom of the past is going to get us more into trouble. And this is the one of the most important reasons why you have to go through a fundamental shift in thinking and acting. And as a father, I think I share with all of you what uh, parents uh, share, is that we want their kids to have it better than we ever had. I think there are very few parents who want their kids to be worse off. So if we really have as an objective then we need to create pathways for the children to imagine a different future. Because if we're only teaching what we know, then our kid children can only do as bad as we're doing. And let's not think we're doing good. We're still in the mode of operating, of doing less bad. And doing less bad is still bad. It's very amazing. We have a double moral in our society.